In what could be a pivotal point in the city of Huntsville's reckoning with criticism of its police department, Mayor Tommy Battle's office is expected to respond this week to specific recommendations from a citizens group. City Administrator John Hamilton told the City Council at its June 10 meeting that the administration was doing a complete review of the report and that they would come back with responses to each of the recommendations by the end of this month. The administration's response is expected to be distributed to City Council members this week. It's a culmination more than a year in the making that started with police brutality protests following the death of George Floyd. While some demonstrations in Huntsville took place without incident, protests on June 1 and June 3, 2020, ended with law enforcement releasing tear gas and rubber projectiles to disperse the protesters. The City Council tasked the Huntsville Police Citizens Advisory Council, a committee of 10 volunteers, with reviewing police actions at those two protests. After 10 months of gathering documents, reviewing evidence and interviewing witnesses, the committee and its lawyers in April presented to the council a report critical of police. It was disturbing, City Councilman John Meredith said of the report. It told us a lot. While some council members have focused on other aspects of police reform, Councilwoman Frances Ackridge has urged the administration to present an action plan on the committee report. The 248-page report cost city taxpayers $655,893, Ackridge told AL.com she wants the council to hold a work session dedicated solely to discussing the report's recommendations and the administration's action plan. She said she wants the administration to respond, in writing, to every recommendation and tell the public what actions or changes police are taking based on the recommendations. She also called for the administration to commit to a timeline for implementing changes and to routinely update the council on progress. The report made wide-ranging recommendations, from suggesting a memorandum of understanding between all law enforcement agencies in Madison County to ensure all officers are operating from the same playbook to calling for more transparency from Huntsville Police to the city council and the public. Ackridge said changes to the police department's policies are not the responsibility of the city council but of law enforcement experts, Chief Mark McMurray as well as Battle and his administration. The mayor's administration continued to vehemently defend the police department's protest response after the report was released. Ackridge, speaking to AL.com, pushed back on criticisms she and other city council members have heard about the cost of the report but said it is time for action. What price tag do you put on this process, she said. People were heard.